Hey, everybody, welcome to another edition of Opinionate. We're here in front of a live studio audience, as you could tell. No, we're not. I'm just fucking with you. Um, we are doing, listen, I'm going to start off by saying this. Uh, if you got children in the room, this probably is not the right time. You know, I may use a couple of adjectives that you don't want them to hear. So, um, anyway, just give you some time to make that happen. Um, so we are going to today do a show and we're going to take her interview with Cindy DeLuca piece by piece. And we're going to talk about it, critique it, analyze it. And then you are, can do that as well. When you get the opportunity, you can go through the whole thing or you, unless you already have, this is a chance for me. I have invited her to come back because it went so bad at the last one with the internet, we had internet issues and she was not able to plug back in from her location. So uh, I have invited her back. She is very, very busy apparently, like extremely busy with other engagements. So haven't heard from her. So I'm gonna critique it with what we've got. Um, stay tuned. My first guest ever on the opinion eight is candidate for mayor of Hazleton, Mrs. Cindy DeLuca. Hi, Nate. Just know you do have your freedom of speech and that does not bother me. Right. I, I'm all for freedom of speech. Right. What I didn't like, and I will express this is people trespassing on private property and then damaging yeah. the sign. Yeah, well, obviously, I had no control. I, I gave them strict instructions, and they didn't listen, and he didn't listen, that one guy. So uh, do, did you consider my signs to be political signs? Well, they, they are political in a sense, but they're right. not a legal political sign. A legal political sign? Correct. What does that mean? Well, there's stipulations when you have signs, and I can send you that information. No, I, I, I have since learned that I was supposed to put on there who paid for the sign. Uh, I figured the fact that forget about it was at the bottom of it would take care of that. But um, anyway, I just wondered if you considered it a political sign, because I know on your live broadcast the other day, uh, your husband mentioned that he has a collection of them and that they had pulled most of them. So I know that that's illegal. It was illegal for my guy and it should be illegal for your husband if it's a political sign for him to be out there picking them up. And I know they were all gone. They were all gone in an hour, you know. Well, I mean, your so, intention was it to be a political sign, but we're not here to debate that. You wanted to ask me some questions pertaining to my candidacy, which I'm okay. willing to absolutely entertain. Okay, so the first thing to do right, right from the get-go, um, she is giving me permission to have the right to speak, pretty much, is what she said. Um, she had a problem with the fact that I hired a guy and he went out and put a sign on top of her sign and he, he was on private property, which I don't, I didn't know he did. Um, when you're on a state highway, I don't know if people know this, but it's pretty much unregulated. You can put a sign on a state high, on the side of a state highway and nobody's going to bother you. The city might come if they're, if it's just a city street. You have to have permission from the resident to put it in their yard, blah, blah, blah. But she, while she had a, she, she said it did not bother her in the paper. What we did did not bother her in the least. When I tell you she called every fucking agency known to man she called the sign agency. No, she didn't. But that's how crazy this chick is, okay? She called the, every agency she could call. The state police called me. Um, I guess I'm going to get something from the campaign, blah, 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 because I didn't have paid for it at the bottom. Um, I wanted her to admit that it was a political sign 
because stupid, the husband, by the way, which was feeding her, which was feeding her information. It's pretty bad when you got him giving you anything, anything. Okay. Fourth grade education down to a first grade education is what he sounds like. Um, admitted on Facebook that he had collected my signs and had a collection of them. They're worried about me. He broke the law multiple times. Did I call anybody? No. You know why? Because it isn't who I am. It's who they are. The camera out and the fucking... It's not who I am. So, um, just so you know, you didn't have to tell me that I have the right to free speech, okay? I'm very well aware of that. Uh, as a matter of fact, well, we'll get into more of that later. So my first question for you then would be, um, in your business experience, or in your life, in your experience, <clears throat> how many employees have you been over in, in a... Well, in a that too is irrelevant. That does not pertain to my candidacy. It doesn't pertain so to unless there's a unless there's a question there that pertains to it, please proceed. Well, my my all right. So my first question to her was, how many employees have you had in your business in your life in your? Her answer to me was, there again, has nothing to do with my candidacy for mayor. Dumbass. It has everything to do with your candidacy. Are you kidding me? So it went from bad to worse with your reply to that question that just made you look stupid. So it has nothing to do with it. Later on in the interview, then you finally answer me with two employees. We're going to get to that. I'm sure one of them is your husband. Uh, I can't be 100% sure, but I'm thinking since you own both companies, I'm thinking one of them is your husband. The other one might even be you. I don't know. Because you can't really get a truthful, honest, direct answer out of you, apparently, for anything. The reason for answer, asking the question is because you're going to be mayor of a town with about 125 um, employees that will answer to you, seven or eight department heads and so my question to you is how give us your qualifications why would you think that you would be able to walk into that position and and do that and and i'm i'm all ears so i'm not there to overrun the city i am going to get in and work with the administration that is there it's going to be considered i i see the face nate and you yeah, can, I mean, that's why can there the are face. That is why there are department heads. Right. I oversee the entire city. Yeah. If elected, but we have right. department heads. No one individual can run streets department or code or zoning. That's why yeah. you have employees. Right. right. So let's talk about that. Um, that's why you have department heads. Yeah. The, the thing is, you are their boss. They are going to be looking for direction from you. You have dogged these people for years. So they must need a new direction. Because under the, the current mayor, they're not doing their job. That's according to you. In everything that you do. So you are the head of these department heads. You're over all these people. But it's all going to be fine. Because you don't have to run. Overrun I think as you put it. The city. The department heads. Will be there. To do that. Okay. But but so. So, so you know correct me if I'm wrong. But <clears throat> I would think that you have completely alienated those folks with your actions here lately. 
you really think that those folks are going to work for you? I'm just asking when you get there, ser- honestly, do you think that they're going to work for you? So <clears throat> what do you mean by alienate? Are you referring to the fact that I call out what is not being done versus it's when they so do do something right, I do call that out as well. So yeah. you're mostly no, going no. on the, the cons of what I call out, correct? You're stating because they didn't do something or they're favoritizing something else instead of prioritizing, then – so what is your – what do you mean alienate? Because I'm calling out what's going on? Okay. Well, how, you can put it however you want to put it. The question is, do you think that those people will actually work for you when this is all said and done if you were elected? If I were elected, do you, do yes. you really think that? Yes, I do. You think that? They need a job. Okay. I'm sure they're going to keep their job, and they're going to do the best job that they can. So, Yes. Usually when a new administration comes in, they put their own people. No, I have no affiliation to or any decision to put in anybody I know, no friends, no family. I will work with whom is there currently. I, I don't plan on going in and firing individuals. Whoever's there, I will work with. I will make sure that they are certified in their position and qualified, and if they need recertification, then well, that's so what I'm it. trying to do now. I'm trying to get you certified and qualified. So, if you think that those people are going to work for you because you think they need a job, you're a dumbass. Not going to happen. Not because I've talked to them, just because I know human nature. Um, first of all, I don't think that's your plan anyway. I think you're going to have your people, you'll move your people in there because you'll have to. Um, You know, maybe Ricky's going to be fire uh, police chief. Maybe Pauly DiLorenzo's going to be the tax collector. Maybe his wife is going to be the dog catcher since she used to be the dog thrower. I don't know. We'll find out. But the fact that you think that those folks are just going to, you know, waltz in the work on your first day as mayor and say, oh, welcome, congratulations, you know, great to see you. I have never heard of you saying any, as you put it, prose about these people, ever, not once. You follow these folks around with a camera, waiting for somebody to screw something up do something they're not supposed to be doing, whatever. If you think that that makes you endearing to the people of Hazleton, you're a moron. Okay? Who's going to be doing that when you're the mayor? You. You and Ricky are going to jump in the SUV and get your cameras out and go do your normal shit? You're out of your fucking mind. Okay? So what gives you the certification and the qualification? That's what I'm asking you. Let me have it. Well, what gives Mayor Cassette? So that that well, begs to differ. He, he ran you're two very successful me, businesses. You're yeah. asking me what my business, right? How many employees? What the, right. that has nothing to do with this. I managed my two businesses in its entirety since right. 2006. And I'm right. still in business, and I'm still operating and functioning properly yeah. and effectively. Yeah. So I'm asking you what your qualifications are. And the first thing you do is ask me, what are Jeff Cassatt's qualifications? He's been the mayor for eight years. We don't have to ask him what he's going to do or, what you know, what... We don't have to ask him any of that. We've watched him for eight years. Listen, has he made mistakes? Probably. Has he not done everything everybody wanted him to do? Probably. Let me point something out to you, dumbass. Um, a lot of people think and say they're going to do all kinds of shit. But when they get there and they find out that they have to battle with the Democratic Council, 
or they have there's not money there to do the thing they wanted to do or you know they're having a fight with the department head over here about this about making this change to do it doesn't quite work out the way you think it's going to work out I'm asking you what your qualifications are, and you're telling me I have that many I have the amount of employees have nothing. Let's have them. Okay. What would you like? You want me to start from high school on up or? Again, what are your qualifications? Is a pretty straightforward, uh, unambiguous question. What are your qualifications? Well, where do you want me to start? You want me to go back to third grade, or do you want me? To... What the fuck is wrong with you? Just give me your qualification. Give me something. Give me something. Anything. Give me something. Anything. I'm dying over here. Just give me something. Well, let's let's clear this up. Sure. <clears throat> the other day, you 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 know, I always say you have a fourth grade education. I'm you only do. ever going by, I'm only ever saying that because of what I see and what I hear. That's what okay. it sounds like to me. That's my opinion. Everybody has That's one, right? That's your opinion. It's called opinion eight after all. So, um, and you held up, you brought, this is what you do that really gets me. You brought <laughs> out a stack of stuff, right? And you said, these are my degrees. Am I right so far? Stop me when I'm wrong. You are right. Continue. Okay. And then you held up a piece of paper that said criminal justice. Was that from McCann? It was from my college. Your, which is what? I went to University of Pitt. I went to Lackawanna College. And I have other college degrees as well. Not just what criminal justice. Uh, I have criminal justice and forensic science. I have 12 criminal certificates justice. with FEMA and Homeland Security. This is where it got good on the question of the degrees. Listen, I don't have a college degree. I, I'm not, I, I wasn't looking for her to have a college degree. But the fact that she brought out a stack of shit this high, she has more degrees than a fucking thermostat, okay? Um, a thermometer. I, listen, I was just trying to get her to not be a liar, Okay. She doesn't have any degrees in anything. That certificate that she held up the other day, she's so proud of, except for where it was from. I have two rolls of toilet paper in the bathroom that during COVID were worth more than that certificate, okay? If you have degrees anywhere, you went to University of Pitt, it doesn't count that you were smoking a joint in the parking lot at the school. Uh, that doesn't count. Um, if you have a degree from Lackawanna College, which I don't know what that is, but if you have a degree from there, then show it, put it out there. I'm not saying you don't have it. I don't think you have any degrees, zero. It's not the question of, um, you need a college education and blah, blah, blah. No, it's a question again of your credibility. You don't have any. Because when you do stupid shit like that and you bring out a thing like this and then you answer a, que a simple question like that, like you did, it shows you're a dumbass. But where is that one from the criminal justice from? What's, what school? Uh, that would have been from... Off the top of my head. Oh. Everest College. Online. Mm. So that degree that you held up, what school was that from? Um, uh, from the top of my head, um, that would have, let's see. There is nobody, unless they have Alzheimer's or dementia, that can't tell you where they got a degree from. If you think people are that stupid, I'm pretty sure the people that surround you. I wanted to ask you, by the way, did somebody walk in one day and say, you know, you should run for mayor? And you said, okay, is that, is that what happened here? Is that what happened? I just want to know if that is the reason that you're running for mayor. 
a little while back he had 1,600 signatures for the school board for Michael Possessor. Correct. Be before there was a lick of evidence or facts or... Mm -hmm. So you asked 1,600 people to sign a petition that he be removed... And, and well, you would be career. incorrect. You would be what? incorrect. There was oh. actual proof. So we're not here to talk about an ongoing investigation, or we are here to talk about myself we're ta we're, we're as a candidate. We're here to talk about your actions. <clears throat> well, we're here to talk about your actions. I think they're very relevant. Okay. I think they're very relevant. Isn't that relevant? Well, it's relevant Did if you not... were making a point in this situation as to my candidacy. Actually, on the case of Mike Possessor, who was a beautiful, beautiful individual, I'm not sure what he was guilty of in that whole thing. I think he had some stuff maybe going on, but none of it was against the law, and none of it was actionable, I don't believe, by the school board. Um, as far as I know, and I, I can't prove this, I think that he still has a job, but because the school board doesn't have a backbone, the president of the school board especially, who I think is still, still Linda DeCosmo, who has no backbone, and I believe is actually his aunt, cannot welcome him back into the district. They offered him some bullshit, something, uh, whatever. But as far as I know, the investigation itself is over. He was not found guilty of anything. There's nothing actionable that they could fire him for. And that is the bottom line. Where, where he got ruined was by fucking idiots like you putting it out there that this guy is a horrible, you know, pedophile, uh, disgusting. Uh, that was you. And the 1,600 people that signed that thing, I wonder if they would still sign it if they knew what actually happened instead of what you and your idiot friends that have nothing better to do said about him. Um, so the fact that this person is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law, you got him. You got Kiko Barletta, you got Hudak, who is a maniac, who belongs in jail. I don't know if he's there yet or not, but in my opinion, he also belongs there. Listen, let's, let's just say this. There are a hundred things that you do that I agree with. Fair. All the time. Okay. Yeah. The school board is, is a disaster. They are a disaster. That is, is for another show, right? I There's a lot of things. I do not agree with the way that you do it, but a lot of times I agree with what you're doing. I just want you to know that. Fair enough. Um, Again, you know, opinionate. There you <laughs> go. Love that. When I say that I agree with 100 things that you do, what I meant by that was... If you want to be an advocate for children and you want to hold a school board, this school board, any school board accountable, I am all for that, 100%. If you want to go to a school board meeting and yell and scream and he should be removed and before you know any of that, that's one thing. But when you put it out there in any media form, that this guy is guilty and has to be proven innocent, you're a fucking asshole. How do you feel about that, though? I mean, the fact that the stuff's not out there and you're out there trying to ruin these people. You know, you were out about Kiko Barletta the next day. The next day. Yeah. Do you I know do that the he has right proof thing. That that, do you know that he has proof that that never happened? Do you, do you know, know I have proof that it did happen? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up. Because your husband the other day mentioned that he has proof 
that I have a VIN plate making machine. Sorry, Do you know how again, ridiculous this, that is. This Do you know doesn't pertain to my husband, so carry on. So let's talk about my VIN plate making machine that Ricky said that he has proof that I have and this blah, 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 all this stuff. Um, that is probably one of the most ridiculous things I have ever heard come out of anybody's mouth in my life. Um, stupid doesn't cover it. It just doesn't cover it. Um, where he would, I'd love to see what he calls proof. That's what I'm talking about, about their credibility. She tried to get away from it as much as she could because she knows that it's just uh, hyperbole. That's all it is. There's no truth to it. What's, she knows this. That's why she said, well, that's him and it's not me. No, it's fucking you because you were sitting next to this idiot who spewed that bullshit and you didn't say, well, wait a minute now. You know, that's a no, you didn't do that. You just sat there and let him do it. That's what has to do with your credibility. You have a, a zilch because that was stupid. See, what's, ha what's the matter is you're too much in the ear of the Pauli Di Lorenzo's and the Tanya, whatever the fuck her name is. She's a moron too. Um, they have you, they have your ear. And so that's what you're doing to try to separate what I'm doing with the signs and blah, blah, blah with you. All I'm trying to do is show who you are. And I'm doing a really good job of it. I can tell you that. I'm just trying to show who you really are. And you have zero credibility as long as you're not going to admit that you know that what your husband and these people say and have said and are saying about me is bullshit. It's bullshit. Say that again. This conversation that we're on here for does not pertain to my husband. It pertains to me. So you're very off course. No, your credibility has everything to do with your candidacy. And everything. my credibility is outstanding. So, so, well, can, so then can you tell me that that is a falsehood? Which what? That Repeat. he has proof that I have a VIN making machine, which I never heard of, by the way, but thank you very much. I cannot answer that for you. You can't, You'll oh, have you can't to discuss answer. that with him. I am not my husband. I am you're sitting right next to him. You're sitting right next to him. The fact that you cannot say that that is a falsehood should tell everybody everything they need to know about you. Because I know, you know, and he knows that it's bullshit. So why you wouldn't to try to save face say that it's a falsehood it says everything it needs to say about you. Um, this is what you have been doing for years, not just to me, but to all the people is I have proof of this and proof of that. And meanwhile, you hold up a fucking certificate from McCant University or wherever the fuck. And it means nothing. It means nothing. I'm sitting next to. No, 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 no. I'm saying that day, that day I'm talking about. Okay. That day. You're sitting right next well, to me. Again, you, you are here that. to question You let me. him do that. You <laughs> let him do that. No, I mean, in all honesty, this is your credibility. I mean, I, I, I know you don't want it to be. The you fact that Pauli Di Lorenzo. And his stupid wife. Again. And again. But not you surround yourself. To me. They are the people you're surrounding yourself with, Cindy. They live in a they're whole the... other town, Nate. So let's continue. Yeah, but they're at the meetings with you. Point. They're at case the meetings point. with you. They are your endorsers. I love the fact that you're trying to separate yourself from the De Lorenzos. They live in a different city. You go to the meetings uh, with them. This guy is so stupid that he gets up in front of a crowd of people while he's being recorded and says, 
I wore a wire for you people. And he talks like, by the way, that he went to first grade too. I wore a wire for yous all that time and whatever he said. So you are admitting to people that you are a rat bastard. And then, not for good things either. I mean, come on. Then your stupid wife does these TikToks. Everybody should go on and watch her too, by the way, because she's really pretty. Oh my God. These people put their makeup on with a fucking bucket from Sam's Club. Um, you want to see something stupid. Watch him stand up at that meeting. I wish I could put a clip of it on here for you. I'll have to see if we can figure that out. But Standing up in front of people and saying, I'm a rat bastard! Yay! You're a moron. And the fact that you're trying to separate yourself from them tells me uh, that you know that. But when you only have 12 people that support your candidacy and there are two of them, you got to kind of keep them around. Even though they can't even vote for you. Do they, they are not my endorsers. No, they do oh, not. not. Not one penny. Not my one financials penny. are in. I know you don't know how to spell endorse, but to the meaning of the word does not necessarily mean that they gave money to your candidacy. It means that they are out there saying, this is who should be the mayor. That's how you endorse somebody. If I came on here and said you or Jeff or uh, Bobby or Castro should be the mayor, that's me endorsing your candidacy. I don't have to give you a dime. So I know you don't know how to spell it. Look it up. And you want to run for mayor of a town. Tell me why. What are your qualifications? You want me to go Let's over go them again? Yeah. We've, you I've answered this, so took please, four seconds carry to on. Give me the last one. Go ahead. Give me your qualifications. I love that I asked you what your qualifications were again, and your reply was, you want me to go over them again. Well, that should be about a three-second uh, bit because you gave me zero. And now you're going to repeat uh, zero. Is that where we are? Again, we've been over this numerous times. Yeah, yeah I don't um, have I don't have a record, Nate. So please, I don't have a record either. We've been over this numerous times. And where did you go? To my criminal record. <laughs> That's where you went. You said, I don't have a criminal record. What in the fuck does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do? I'm asking you a question. And because you look stupid and you don't have an answer, you want to bring me into it. I don't have a record. Run my criminal background check. A zip. Unlike your husband, unlike the idiots you surround yourself with, uh, I, I, I don't know how to, I don't even know how to follow that. When I asked you again, I gave you multiple opportunities and you came up with a zip. Why do you think you can just walk in there and run 125 people in all those departments? A answer the question. There's a question. The same way Jeff is. So there you have it, folks. She is going to run it the same exact way. Her words and not mine. So she's going to walk into a job where she has done nothing but criticize every aspect of the government, city government, criticized, maligned, uh, dogged, uh, camera following, video fucking looking person. She's going to walk in there and, in her words, do it exactly the same way as the guy that's in there. This is you answering my question, what you're going to do for the city of Hazleton. What do you think of that? So you have two employees. Okay, great. Um, so what else, what, what, what else do you have to, as to why you could be mayor? Well, I could be mayor for many reasons. I can do for this community that's not being done promises that are 
not being fulfilled or broken and in eight okay. years have not yet even been fulfilled. There's so much this town needs. We have deplorable buildings. Okay. We what have... would you do about that? Let's stop there. What would you do about those? Well, firstly, code enforcement would need to go out and do their job description. It starts within the city. It starts within city hall. You okay. need your employees to go out and enforce. We have no enforcement. We have no structure whatsoever. And if you think we do. No, no, no. I'm asking you. So how do you change that? You're talking you about enforce, keeping the people that are there. You make it. You enforce it. As the mayor of the Hazleton of City, uh, of City yeah. Hall, or excuse me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was my bad. <laughs> As the Hazleton mayor, you are obligated to enforce your personnel in every department. Right. So you have code out. You have the city streets department out. You have zoning out. You have our police officers out on the street interacting with the community, making a change. Okay, but I'm so I, I'm still back at the at the deplorable buildings. <laughs> right. So, so code enforcement okay, so needs to, code enforcement needs to go out and make people aware of what needs to be changed on those properties. Also, okay. if they're dilapidated, they right. need to be taken down. They need to be removed. And how do you make that happen? So you either contact the owner and have them get it removed, taken down, or the city takes it over and they take it down. Okay. Again, simple question. What can you do? Can't answer it. You go to what's not being done. The promise has been broken. Blah, 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 blah. That's what you got. All right, what else you got? What, what, well, what else do you want to know? No, I'm asking we you. We have I'm asking deplorable you streets. You're going to fix. Okay. Our How do you streets fix are poor. How do I fix do them? Fix so we get our streets department out more. Out they more. need, yes, they need to be repaired. Not so Frank, I have, Frank Vito's not doing a good job. Listen, I'm sure he's not the one going out on the street doing it, but he needs to have he's the department head, correct? So our street department needs to be out on the streets, filling in potholes, seeing what streets need to be repaved. I have spoken to numerous residents and taxpayers, mind you, whose streets have not been paved once in 15 or 20 years. Yeah, I that's agree. a problem. I love this because you wouldn't call out Frankie Vito for not doing a good job, but he, but he's not doing a good job according to you because you've talked to numerous residents whose streets have not been paid. We all know that potholes are a problem in this town. Uh, Mrs. DeLuca, darling. Um, but... We all know that, so you know you're not no you're not no fucking brain scientist here coming up with a. I talk to the residents. You don't have to talk to anybody. You just go drive the fucking car. You can tell where the potholes are and what the problems are. Okay. So Frankie Vito's either doing a good job or he's not. I have a feeling that in this particular instance, you didn't want to call him out because you just got done saying that if you were elected mayor, he would work for you. So. I, I, I'm confused. I'm thinking that that's probably the reason why you didn't want to say that he's not doing a good job. That, that's my take. That's a problem. Are you aware of the fact that, that that department is at a third of what it used to be as far as employees? Then you need to hire employees. Mm -hmm. And where are you going to get them? Or you need that? to make sure you have a full time grant writer, you pull in grants. You find other means. You just don't, okay, the city is, one day we don't have money, and the next day we have, we're out of Act 47. Hmm. So the same individual who put us in Act 47 now has us out of Act 47, but what has changed in those eight years? What's happened? Seven years. So, um, to be clear... You're going to hire folks, which, by the way, 
with or without money, I don't know where you find people these days. That just shows your stupidity again. Um, because you think, what are you going to hang a sign at City Hall that says now hiring and people are going to flock in there to, to work, to work for you. Yeah. Um, whether you have the money or not. Listen, Taco Bell's paying 17 bucks an hour to high school people, okay? Um, <clears throat> it also shows your ignorance in that you think that you have a grant writer to hire people for those positions. Not possible. Police, firemen, maybe. Things like that, out of the question. Not happening. If you don't think that Mayor Cassatt has exhausted all of those things to do what you're talking about, again, just makes you an idiot. Um, I have gone through your entire thing. Um, I My take on it is I'm going to reduce you from a fourth grade education to a second grade education. And, um, and I'm going to hope that the people in Hazleton have enough sense to know that this is you running for an office that you could never handle for vengeance so that you can pick the people that you think did you wrong and go get them. And that's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So, Nate, I must say, you know, I appreciate your opportunity, the proposal you've given me to join your podcast. However, there has been no substance to what you're asking me pertaining to my candidacy running for Hazleton mayor. All right, great. Well, you give me something. I'll give you the floor. All right, folks, listen. Thank you for the awesome um, participation in the last podcast. It was just, it was awesome. It was great. It was more than I thought. And uh, I am very appreciative that anybody has any interest in anything that I have to say. Um, you know, I'm sure that a lot of it was because of who my guest was. And that's great. Um, we're going to do these podcasts all the time. On Saturday, we're recording with Bobby Yevok. I have extended an invitation to Mr. Castro. However, he told me he'd call me back in two hours. I have still not heard from him. So if he does call me, obviously we're going we're gonna to put him on um, because everybody has to be extended an invitation. Uh, Jeff Cassatt was extended an invitation. I don't think he's going to do it um, just because why should he? He has no opposition in the primary, and there's no reason for him to come out um, unless he just wants to... Uh, have a conversation. So, um, I wanted to mention 924 Landscaping Supply. Uh, he was the first guy to uh, call me up and say, I want to sponsor your show. Um, he's just a good guy. He's been a customer of mine forever um, in the restaurant and in the uh, notary. And uh, listen, you call this guy up for supplies for to landscape your yard, and call Domino's at the same time. He's going to be there before the pizza, probably. I mean, that's just how good um, the, of a company that this is. So I wanted to bring that up. All my other sponsors, Cosmos, uh, Paul's Auto Center, um, the folks from West Hazleton running for council, uh, my place, Adia, everything. I just am so appreciative that I have this outlet and uh, the opportunity to talk to you. I hope that nobody was offended by my language. I'm just passionate. It's how us Italians uh, get our points across and bring the hammer out and get your attention so that you're listening to what we're saying. And, um, you know, my, listen, my objective is not to ruin Cindy DeLuca. My objective now is to make sure that nobody that stupid um, is in office in, 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 a, in a position of power over other people and how a city is run. Um, the fact that she would have her husband in the background giving her points and uh, answering the questions for her and blah, 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 just shows that she has nothing. There's no substance. There's no plan. 
there's no nothing for her to run for mayor. Have a great day. Thanks again for watching. Keep watching. Um, by the way, if you subscribe on YouTube, there's no charge for that. There's no charge any time ever to watch any of these videos, just for those of you that are not accustomed to watching this stuff. Subscribing just means that you'll be alerted every time I do a new video. And all they want for that, I think, is your email address from what I've been told by my producer. So, have a great day. Appreciate you so much. And we'll see you on Saturday with Bobby Yevok. And uh, we'll do a joke of the day then. Have a great day.